Uh, but I found, to my great dismay, uh, increasingly, uh, that they were not interested in new things, really. They were interested primarily in getting rid of a new idea that quite radically upset their apple cart. Uh, the people that were most threatened by this and who acted in the most egregious uh, negative way were uh, my former friends at MIT in the Hot Fusion program. MIT gets tens of millions of dollars every year to research how to make uh, uh, multi-million degree, 200 million degree uh, uh, Kelvin temperatures to, to create uh, the kind of fusion that they believe is going on in the core of the sun and to create helium. And that, that would, would indeed be an infinite supply of, of, of energy from water because the fuels are in water. Sure. But they haven't succeeded. And they've spent, uh, in the United States alone, an estimated 20 billion, billion, not million, $20 billion since the early 1950s. And they're still going at it? Still going at it. And, and when Pons and Fleischmann came out with that astounding announcement uh, 12 hours before the Exxon Valdez ran aground, mm-hmm. most ironically, uh, uh, <laughs> they were shocked. Uh, now, they didn't believe it, and they immediately assembled all reasons to, to doubt it, first from a theoretical point of view, and then they began to bring up all kinds of bogus, and in some cases, uh, quite, quite bluntly, fraudulent reasons against Pons and Fleischmann, for throwing the whole thing into the trash can. The U.S. Department of Energy made a, a rush to judgment. Within six months, they had a negative report, and that stamp of disapproval has lasted since then. Well, when when this started, and, and what year was that? 1989, All right. March 23rd, 1989, in the afternoon uh, in Salt Lake City, this astounding announcement came from two world-class chemists. Whatever happened to them? Well, they're still alive. Uh, absolutely, uh, Dr. Fleischmann, in particular, a fellow of the Royal Society, one of the world's most famous electrochemists, a brilliant man, uh, and it was his uh, driving force that uh, brought it, uh, brought the idea initially to the fore. He worked with Dr. Stanley Pons, then an American, who uh, uh, was the head of the chemistry department at the University of Utah. Uh, they're both alive. Dr. Fleischmann, as I said, attends regularly all the international meetings. He participates in, in the Italian program. There's a small official Italian program in this area, uh, just, you know, several million dollars a year, and it's kind of mislabeled. It's not given the cold fusion or low energy nuclear reactions name, but it's, it's there nonetheless. And, um, uh, Stanley Pons, I uh, regret to say, changed his citizenship, but I, I do understand his feelings, early in the 90s. He was sick and tired of being called a fraud. So uh, he moved to France with Dr. Fleischmann and uh, worked under Japanese auspices, Toyota, um, uh, Minoru Toyota, the late uh, one of the founders, founders of Toyota, right, right. Uh, funded them in a laboratory in the south of France, in Nice, for many years. And they had great success. And their work was even published uh, in uh, peer-reviewed journal, Ph- Physics Letters A, in, in 1993. And uh, still, that had no effect. The assi- getting back to our original issue here, the academic uh, government complex, not, not the, the military-industrial complex as much as the academic government complex, is against new scientific ideas that threaten the foundations of their... Uh, work and they, no matter how many papers are published, I don't care whether they're on the internet or not on the internet or what they, where they are, the establishment, uh, academic, government complex is brain dead. I mean, why can't they open their arms and say, this is exciting, let's try it, let's experiment, and let's jump in it? it, it well, it's, it's remarkable. I've, uh, I'm, I must tell you, George, 15 years, almost 15 years now, after that fateful day of March 23rd, uh, 1989, uh, I continue to evolve in my understanding of the, uh, well, the the emotional and psychological and intellectual armoring, uh, to borrow a term from the famous Wilhelm Reich, um, uh, that that scientists have. Uh, It's astounding. Uh, 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 One physicist uh, at MIT, 